Hey folks, how's it going? Today we're going to be talking about tramming. What is tramming? How do we measure it? And what the heck is this thing? All right guys, so tramming is basically the orientation of your spindle to your X axis. If you look real close here at my waste board, you'll see that this side has a ridge where this one doesn't. So that means that the spindle is kind of going at this angle when it should be flat. There's also left to right. One of the things if you uh, are into cars or any automotive work, this is uh, very much just like your toe and your camber on your on your car tires for the alignments and that's what we're going to be doing with this is how do we find how to get this properly aligned frontwards and backwards and left and right and often with some of these things we can look to the past at a very old trick that has been around for as long as machining has possibly been around and it's the use of just a bar like this. It doesn't have to be anything special, made of anything special. It doesn't have to be, uh, you know, square, particularly square anyways, or anything. This is actually a piece of aluminum rod that I had from a very old uh, uh, goat that we had that broke its leg and I had to make a brace for it. So this is just some leftover rod from that. And basically what you do is we're going to send this to the middle. We'll turn our jog rate down low and we're going to spin this guy like Wheel of Fortune and take it down until it actually makes contact with a surface. Do it again. All right, we stop. Now, the idea is for this rod to be making contact with the entire board in a 360 degree spin. So, as you can see, where it makes contact over here, it's not making contact over here. And that's exactly right there how far we need to adjust this. Same thing going forward. Here. And it gets lower as we get to the back. So we'll start there and we'll move on. So what I'm doing now is I'm checking left and right. Slow down my jog rate so I can get more precise and short movements with the Z axis. We're making contact there. There we go. And making contact there. A little bit more contact on this side than this side. So we're gonna just give a little tap. This is snug but loose. That's pretty good. So we got left and right. Now, I knew going in because of the waste board that I needed the head to come back this way a little bit to stop this, this, uh, this angle this way. I 3D printed some shims that are one millimeter and I printed a few of them. They look like little Ritz, or not Ritz, but uh, 
Cheez-Its is what they look like. Um, and I put those in here. I put, since this was like darn near what this groove was, I figured we'll start with a, a one millimeter and we'll work from there. So I put one on each side on the on the, the top to angle it this way. And uh, we'll see how that works. We're gonna lift up. And move to the center again. millimeter might have been too much no yep, let's try it again dragging and getting the same amount of resistance all the way around and it comes up to here and it is close really close and then it touches really quickly I'm thinking that's the best as we're gonna get and I'm thinking that's in my opinion that's pretty pretty good so this is just a basic old technique for tramming a machine uh, there are better techniques or not necessarily better techniques but there are uh, more advanced techniques out there there's gauges and other equipment that you can get um, but this is a good way to do it for very low cost and you get pretty good results. But this is a DIY uh, CNC machine. It's not exactly perfect and it never was intended to be. It's just a, a simple home shop deal. And this result, in my opinion, is a good result for a, a, a DIY at home shop. You can see we got really good results. It's smooth, no lumps. You see the shadow of the cutter, but that's it. It is flat and smooth. Before tramming, after tramming, big difference. And it was all done with a simple piece of aluminum bar. Sometimes the simplest solutions are the best ones. Please like, share, and subscribe. That way you'll be updated with all these future episodes like this. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, just put them down below and I'll answer them as best as I can. Hopefully this helps you guys get a little bit better uh, better cuts out of your machine and shows you what the capabilities really are for this little guy. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one.